Well, hello. Uh, welcome aboard the legendary Delta Queen. My name is Bill Weemoth. I'm the historian here on board the boat. We want to take you on and show you around. This is a National Historic Landmark, an American treasure. This boat's been traveling the river for 82 years, and it is truly a work of art and a living piece of history. So come on board, I'll show you around. Hot dog. Let's go. We're here at the legendary Delta Queen's famous grand staircase. Beautiful mahogany handrails, brass filigree. This boat is decked out in lots of wonderful detail from the 1927. You see, this boat began cruising in 1927 between San Francisco and Sacramento. Traveled out there on the Sacramento River for 13 years, but this boat was built at a time when you could build a steamboat for less than $100,000. The Delta Queen, almost a million dollars in the 1920s. Here in the Orleans room, not only do we serve meals, but we have weekend shows on board. So check the website, check for the schedule, come down and enjoy some great entertainment here on board. This beautiful room can host special events, weddings, receptions. It is also the place where our hotel guests enjoy a beautiful buffet breakfast every morning. We even on the weekends have dinner and show packages right here in the Orleans room. So a great chance to experience this historic boat in a beautiful space and enjoy the lively entertainment on board a real showboat. The Delta Queen is the last steam powered overnight paddle wheeler in American history. The end of a chapter that helped make our country great long before roads or railroads. Guests even have an opportunity to come down into the engine room, learn about how a steam engine really operates and how that paddle wheel moved this boat for more than 80 years. Well, the Delta Queen's had many famous guests over the years, including movie stars and singers and politicians. Probably certainly one of the most famous, though, was the gentleman that stayed right here in this beautiful room. President Jimmy Carter and his wife, Rosalind, and of course, little daughter Amy stayed right next door as well. They traveled with us on the Delta Queen back in August of 1979 on a trip between St. Paul and St. Louis. This is the Delta Queen's pilot house where the boat was navigated from and guests get a chance to come up here on a tour of the vessel and learn about steam navigation and a chance to hear the Delta Queen's historic steam whistle blow. This is one of the more popular spots on the Delta Queen, the Texas Lounge. Now this bar is open to the public, as are the dinners and as are the shows we talked about in the showroom. Uh, hotel guests, of course, can come in here and enjoy a wonderful cocktail, uh, opportunity to sit in this beautiful historic room and enjoy a beverage, even step out onto the outer decks where there's wraparound seating all the way around, gorgeous view of Coolidge Park, beautiful view of the Tennessee River, the sunset sets right off of the bow of the boat. This is the place to be to enjoy an elegant evening here in Chattanooga. We hope you folks come down and have a good time with us. There's live music in here on the weekends and there's no nicer spot to spend an evening than here in the Texas Lounge on the Delta Queen. Come down, enjoy Coolidge Park, the North Shore. Walk across the pedestrian bridge and experience the wonderful attractions in downtown Chattanooga. Come experience the Delta Queen. Lost all my good friends.